Hello and welcome or welcome back if you're returning. My name is Burr and if you are a fan of MMOs, RPGs, JRPGs, obscure video games, art, or music, then you should subscribe because that's what we do here. Also, don't forget to give this video a like because that super helps us out. Just a reminder that at 800 subscribers, we are going to be doing a super awesome live art stream where I will be drawing your Final Fantasy XIV characters, anything that is safe for work because I want to give back to you guys for being super awesome and hanging out with me. So just make sure you share this video or subscribe if you have not done that yet. And then that will happen soon. I pray this eve finds you well, Burr, or at least better than it finds me. <sighs> it seems I have no choice but to seek out that inspector and convince him to surrender up his mamet to me. Twas unearthed under most suspicious circumstances, after all, and who can say what secrets, or heresy, it might hold. Therefore the Inquisition would conduct a thorough inspection, and if needs must, destroy it. No! That's rude. Given his affinity for the contraption, I fear the inspector may not be amenable to my request. Nevertheless, he must be made to see it is in the interest of public safety. Would you be willing to help me persuade him? Fury be praised. At least you have seen reason. Let us pray he will as well. I am given to understand that while the inspector and his assistant have been wandering all over the city with the mammoth in tow, they often frequent the gazebo near Fortop Manor. With any luck, they will be there now. Hi, friends. Verily shall we scour all creation, from the deepest pit of the seven hells to the very pinnacle of the heavens, for the answers we seek. Every day shall be filled with grand adventures, the stuff of fairy tales and legends. Huzzah! A grand adventure in the deepest pit of the seven hells! Just so! Such is the greed of Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire! <laughs> oh, he's learning the ways! <laughs> That's too cute! Well posed, Gigi, well posed. I dare say you have the potential to be an exemplary inspector someday. Right, that's enough of that. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Supreme Sacred Tribunal of Halonic Inquisitory Doctrine, I hereby command you to surrender that moment of suspected heretical origin into my custody. Why, hello there, Burr. An Inquisitor Seer, ever the jester, accusing poor Gigi of being a clockwork heretic when tis plain to see that he is merely a precocious young lad. Oh, there you go again, confusing the poor girl, as if those big, beautiful boxy's eyes aren't the soul of femininity. <laughs> Not you, please. Were you not witness to the magnificent display of Mandervillian masculinity mere moments ago? That's because you haven't taught her any better. She needs a proper role model to show her what's what. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. A lover's quarrel. <laughs> Mr. Slynn, Inspector Sear, what is all this commotion? We can hear you from the courtyard. Just hanging out. Oh, Lord Edmund, my sincerest apologies for the disturbance. I came, I have come to seize this memet on behalf of the Inquisition, a fact which I clearly explained to the inspector before you arrived. At which point they set to bickering about the contraption's gender. <laughs> what say you, my lord? Do you think Gigi a boy or a girl? Tis clearly a strapping young lad, no? <laughs> Fury take me, not you too! Has the whole world gone mad? Fine, fine. But even supposing that this GG is a real boy, you cannot deny that the circumstances of his discovery and miraculous resuscitation were most unusual. He cannot be suffered to roam the city with impunity until the Inquis Inquisition has determined he is not a threat. I beg your pardon. Miraculous resuscitation. 
we whacked him in the head with a hammer. <laughs> I see. That until such time as Gigi recovers his memory may happen, it would be best if you adopted him as a ward of House Manderville. I will even stand as witness here and now if you wish. Adopt? Then that would make me Gigi's father? Doubtless the Inquisition would think better of taking any action which might threaten the cordial relationship between our two houses. Yes, yes, of course. I'll do it. I, Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire, do hereby grant this child the patronage of House Manderville. Papa Hildy, Papa Hildy. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. The inspector's finally become a father. Oh, it's it's so beautiful. Quite. Uh -huh. Now that you need no longer fear the Inquisition, you are free to show Gigi more of our fair city. Indeed, I strongly encourage you to do so. Mayhap, by the grace of the Fury, something will jog his memory. Thank you, Lord Edmont. I shall not forget this kindness. Come, my faithful assistant, my beloved son. We must away. Oh, thank you. Oh, hello, Nay. I would not presume to question your grand design, but... Gah! Confound it all! Well, mayhap I cannot detain the mammoth, but I am still within my rights to observe the blasted thing. <laughs> Bow. Dedication, man. Lord Godbert will be pleased to hear that his son is as hale and healthy as ever. Not that I would ever presume to meddle on another father's behalf, and certainly not without consent. <laughs> Come now, Gigi. Surely gazing upon this wondrous work of Ishgardian architecture stirs something within your soul. This grand manor of House Durin... Uh, How's during the mountain Pisarte? <laughs> Pray do not fill the boy, the mammoth's head, with such nonsense. That is the supreme sacred tribunal of Hellenic Inquisitory doctrine. I should know. I work there. <laughs> Furthermore, I am quite certain that there is no house during Mount Tempsarte, and that is rather a ludicrous portmanteau of the four high houses, including that esteemed house which but certainly recently stood as witness to your adoption. Well, Gigi, do you remember anything? No, nothing. I say, rather than parading him before the grandiose, why not give him a taste of something more prosaic? Let us make our way to the holy stables, that he might bask in the singular sights, sounds, and smells of Ishgard's famous chocobos. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're so cute. Chocobos. Hmm. Splendid specimens of horse bird flesh. Would you not agree? In the hands of a skilled jockey, any one of them could take first place at the saucer. These chocobos are the pride of the Ishgardian cavalry, and any temple knight who dared exploit them for personal gain would answer to the fury herself. How about now, Gigi? Do you remember anything about Ishgard? Be sure to sniff the chocobos. It might help. It didn't. <laughs> Smell those birds. You know, just because you found him in a curtain snowbank, it doesn't mean he hails from Ishgard. Which is why we ought to try taking him to the markets and exposing him to all manners of goods from across Eorzea. Excellent suggestion, Inquisitor. Wait, am I now complicit in this farce? Fury, forgive me. She's like, what am I? <laughs> but I want one! I want one! Buy me a chocobo! Please, father! Blue hair. Fuck. 
Father, that strange looking thing is staring at us. <laughs> huh. Am I that strange looking? Oh, poor little guy. Oh, he's so cute. So cute. Why bother? It's no use. Now, now, Gigi, you must not give in to despair so easily. Did I not promise you days filled with grand adventures and the eventual discovery of your mislaid memories? Spirits, Gigi, spirits. <laughs> oh, no. What a jerk. My word, a vase flung to the ground with reckless abandon. Could this be the opening salvo of an indiscriminate campaign of vandalism? One waged by your wild gesticulations, perhaps. At least look before you strike a pose. The gods only know how much that vase cost. One hundred and twenty-three million five hundred and four thousand gil at last assessment. It was over seven hundred years old and graced the homes of a dozen archbishops, eight counts, two lord commanders, and one duke. <laughs> Cough. One hundred million gil! <gasps> Oh, hello, Nay. Why have you forsaken me? <laughs> he fixed it. Well, would you look at that? It's, it's a miracle, nay, the divine dimension of the Fury herself. Did I do that? GG, my boy, that was marvelous. You are born artisan, just like your father. Papa Hildy's papa? Your grandma Bagabert, the man who woke you with a few gentle taps to the noggin. You wouldn't believe what else he could do with that hammer of his. Why, some folks say he wields the very powers of life and death. Once he and the missus come back from their tour of the Western Highlands, I'm sure they'd love to see that trick of yours. Do not demean that this mammoth's powers as a mere parlor trick. We just witnessed a miracle, and I demand that you will acknowledge it. This mammoth. Sir, I... Uh, I say, sir, 100 million gil for the mammoth. Nay, 100 million gil and the duke's priceless vase. My word, is this what passes for trade at Ishgard? Gigi is my flesh and blood. I will not sell him at any price. <laughs> a good dad. Please, Papa Hildy, no more. I know you mean well, but we can deny the truth no longer. I am a mammoth. Gigi, whatever has gotten into you, you are my son. You are a Manderville man. Listen to your papa, Gigi. You are a Manderville girl through and through. Stop it, both of you. You're not my papa or my mama. This is so sad. Well, it is only to be expected. Gigi is at a rebellious age. Strange as it may sound, I too tested my parents' patience, and that on more than one occasion. But if they could weather the storm, then so could I. I say we find out what's got him thinking he's a mammoth. 
but he is a mammoth. How can you not? Oh, never mind. The course of fatherhood never did run smooth, but I, Hildebrand, guardian of Gigi, doting parent extraordinaire, shall find a way to overcome this trial and be reconciled with my beloved son. That's the spirit. Solving a simple case of childhood rebellion should be easy for a man who's unmasked thieves, defeated duelists, and led armies of the undead. Yes, that, yes, that's all very... Wait, what was that about the undead? Actually, don't tell me. For now, all that matters is finding that Mehmet. We should begin by speaking with the sentry stationed at the city gates in the airship landing. If Fiori help us, he has left Ishgard. We need to know about it sooner rather than later. I will visit the Ark of the Worthy while the inspector and his assistant head to the airship landing. You can question the guard at the gate near the manufactory, after which we will regroup here and share our findings. Dismissed. <laughs> aye, aye, Captain. Little fellow with the wide brimmed hat. Aye, he came through here, brought passenger on a supply ship bound for Falcon's Nest. One of the wasp name, Lalafels, right? Funny little buggers. Seem keen to be anywhere but here. Well, if Gigi left the city, it was not by the main gates. And the sentries at the airship landing have seen no matching his description. She's like, I know where he is. Falcon's Nest? Fury, take me. We must return to that freezing pit of despair. Wheresoever Gigi goes, I will follow him and find him and embrace him as my son once more. However, I surmise our final destination lies far beyond the walls of set outpost. Outpost, indeed. There is but one reason he would return to those frozen wastes. To frolic in the snow and cast his worries to the winds. <laughs> I love it, that's true. <laughs> really? He seemed in no mood to frolic when last I saw him. As I recall, he used his arcane powers to mend a vase, only to become morose and belligerent when it became clear to him that he was, in fact, a mammoth. One might even say he remembered what he was, remembered his purpose, and so he returned to Western Carthus, that famous breeding ground for heresy, where first we found him. Home to his heretic masters to share with them the intelligence he had gathered on the city. Ha! <laughs> At long last, the undeniable, the unquestionable, the unmistakable scent of heresy. <laughs> this guy's a freak. <laughs> what are we standing around for? We have a heretic to catch. Inspector, I'm starting to think that Inquisitor Seer might not think very highly of our little girl. It is possible, but I would not presume to know his feelings ere his voice the <laughs> ere he voiced them explicitly. Until such time as he does, we should endeavor to surreptitiously bring him round to the opinion that Gigi is a boy of pure heart and good intent. Subtlety in all things, Dashu. That is the Mandeville way. I knew it! The mammoth immediately left the outpost and looks to have headed north along the river. By the fury, I cannot wait to finally catch him in the company of heretics. I don't much like your tone, Inquisitor. If our baby girl ran afoul of any heretics, she'd look them square in the eye and tell them she doesn't want any. Hey, Inspector, I think I just had one of those moments, you know, of insight. Maybe Gigi came out here to find Lord Godbert. I did tell her her grandpa might like to see that trick of hers. Brilliant deduction, Nashu. He must be eager to meet his grandparents. The self-same ones he renounced when he declared you are not his father. <laughs> what a fine young gentleman, eager to explore his heritage. Let us make haste, my friends, for a reunion of three generations of Manderville's beckons. I really can't be bothered. <laughs> uh, my head, who? Oh, it's you. You followed me.
Oh, Gigi, if you wanted to have a snowball fight with your grandparents, you should have said so earlier. Papa Hildy is very worried, though he is glad to see that you are unharmed. It would seem he was struck by a snowball, much like those Steinbachs. Those, these dead Steinbachs. Are you sure he isn't damaged? They killed them with snowballs? That's so messed up. As if a mere blow to the head could fell our Gigi, we Mandervilles are made of sterner stuff. I myself have been driven headfirst into the earth on no fewer than two dozen occasions, several times from moms above, and my mind is no less brilliant for the experience. I expect the Earth was no less brilliant for the experience he... There. Why are you... Are you nodding? Oh, he's behind me, isn't he? <laughs> what good a fortune to cross paths with you lot so far from civilization. Forgive me for not taking notice earlier. I was engrossed in my duel with Julian. But how rude of me. Would you care to join us? Grandpapa Godbert. Grandpapa Godbert! Mama Dashu says you wield the powers of life and death. I beg of you, Grandpapa Godbert. Grab me life! Make me a real boy! Are you sure about this, son? It may sting a little. I will endure whatever I must to become a real boy. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Every time. Uh. It's only slightly awkward. Then let us begin! This body is everything I ever wanted. It's perfect. Thank you, Grandpapa Godbert. Thank you. Oh, but I have not even begun to begin. Baragat, guide my hammer. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, what the heck? <laughs> Papa Hildy, I'm a Vanderbilt man! Uh, hi, lazy lord. This is hilarious. <laughs> Gigi, my son, come to your father. Let me have a look at you. She's great. It's beautiful. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Jacked. Uh oh. Is it the inner beast? Oh! The heck? It's the instant replay. Uh, 
Got him! That's so funny. Now that brings back some memories. <laughs> Papa Hilly! Oh dear! Who could have done such a thing? <laughs> oh, he's wrong. By the fury, it's just like the vase all over again, miraculously restored to its original floor. Oh, no. Gigi, my boy, upon further consideration, I believe that this body may say, suit you best. It is, how shall I put this, more manageable. <laughs> and much more adorable. But how can I ever be accepted as your son if I remain a moment? Oh. Is that what's been troubling you all this time? But why didn't you say so? <laughs> oh. Kill me. The Mandeville is more than mere flesh and bone. He is vigor, compassion, honor, a gentleman for all seasons. Be you man or machine, it makes no difference if they call you a mammoth. You look them in the eye and say, Nay, I am a Manderville mammoth. <laughs> He's perfect. He does it so well. Mother, father, forgive me for not consulting with you earlier, but circumstances forced my hand. I have formally adopted Gigi as my son and ward of House Mandeville. Ye gods! I knew he was fond of the mammoth, but did you hear that woman? Our son's gone and got himself a son! Grandpapa Godbridge! Grandpapa Godbridge! Heh, <laughs> it all makes sense now. Grandpapa Godbert and Grandmama Julian. I've been waiting years to hear those words. Grandpapa Godbert, Grandmama Julian. Few things in life are grander than becoming a grandparent, as they say. Ha ha ha. <laughs> well, she doesn't seem super pleased. What's happening? Uh oh. And what's so bloody grand about it? Oh no! <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> I'll not be made grandmother to a bloody buggering mammoth. It's past time I beat some sense into my beloved boy. Well, this doesn't bode well. <laughs> Fury, take me. I'd heard the tales of dark nights before, but... No. No, it couldn't be. No, I think it was something far worse. Heretical like is not, but rules be damned. I'm not risking my life to find out. <laughs> They're mad. Utterly mad. The whole damn lot of them. How their house could rise to such providence, I will never understand. Well, at least the moment seems to have overcome its existential crises. <sighs> Before today, I didn't know a moment could even have an existential crisis. Wait, what am I saying? 
It's a mammoth! Why should I care what it claims to think or feel? Fury, take me. Their idiocy is infectious. I mustn't allow myself to fall prey to it. Follow procedure. Report to your superior. One step at a time. One step at a time. She's like, yep. Nod. Uh-oh. Who are these people? All right then. My superiors have been, having been informed of the mammoth's adoption by House Mandeville, has witnessed my house for time. Proceeded to take me to task for my gross mishandling of the situation. They remain convinced that the, that the mammoth is the product of heretical machinations and have commanded me to redouble my efforts to prove this incontrovertible fact. That may prove problematic, however, as Gigi seems to have forsaken his quest to recover his memories and thrown himself wholly into his new life as a Manderville mammoth, casting about for any hint of a case alongside his doting father. In any event, though I do not share my superior's conviction, I think it's safe to say there is something exceedingly unusual about that mammoth. You saw with your own eyes how effortlessly it restored that vase, and itself, to its original form. Reconstructive magics are not particularly rare, but his are unlike any of I have ever seen before. So I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. If you liked this video, please like this video because that'll help gather more folks to the video with the channel. We are aiming for 1k, so we're almost there. Also, if you are new and you haven't yet, please subscribe. Uh, we have a Discord link that is very, very fun. That link will be in the description underneath this video. And I also have all my other social media links and stuff that will be under there as well. And also, I do have a Patreon if you're interested. That link is below, and that does help <laughs> get us uh, to support the channel so I can be here and do more stuff with you guys. All right, from uh, all of us to all of you. <laughs> Bye.